Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can make a fillable form in MS Word something akin to what you see on internet. Like over here we have a date picker. I can choose a date picker from here. I have a drop down over here for positions. I can have a drop down for gender. I even have a picture picker. You can use this technique to make beautiful forms like these that I can show you right now. Employee evaluation or something like a job description document. You can create anything you want. And how did I do it? Let me show you. All right. So this is the form that I created. I'll create a replica of it in just below it. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a page break so that I can go to the next page. All right. And over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a table. All right. Any number of fields that I want. All right. Let the first field be called name or say headers. And this one will be description. All right. Now let me make it a bit more prominent so that you can see it easily. So I'll use this font. And here I'll mention name and over here, then I will go to developer tab. Now developer tab can be activated by going to file options and then going to options. And from here you go to customize ribbon and from here you activate the developer tab. In the earlier version also you have to do the same thing. You have to go to word options, go to customize ribbon and from there activate developer tab. Once it is activated, you will see this developer tab over here. It has a lot of features which I'll be covering later. But for this video, we'll be concentrating in this area, controls, all right? So this is a control to get rich text control. So over here, automatically, we'll be able to put in a name. We can also directly type text over here, but once you make it this way, this becomes more efficient and it is more controllable. Similarly, we can enter a date of birth. To do this, we go to this calendar icon and click. Now, if I tap over here, I'll be pick on a, I will be able to select a date. Of course, this date of birth is 2018 and I am much, much, much <laughs> younger than that. So you can change it. All right, so I don't want to waste more time. So let's do this 2016. All right, for gender, we will make a drop down. How do we do that? We go over here and we choose this drop down list control. And then we click over here and we go to properties. In the properties, we go to add. And then we mention, say, male. Okay, so the first drop down appears, second female, third email, <laughs> the third one would be other and click OK. So it works. What else? Similarly, let me add one more row below it. All right. And then we'll enter a picture. All right. So I click on this picture control. So automatically this picture will be sized into this cell. All right. You tap over here. You will be able to select a picture residing on your computer or from online. And I'll choose my picture. That's me for you. Thank you. And I mention image. Isn't it cool? And then you can go to a design 
and give it designs like anything layout you have all these options you go to tables and you go to designs i'm sorry And then you click on this table and go to design over here and give it a design of your choice. Like I would like to give it this design. And it's there. And from here I can choose different styles if I want. And they will be populated over here. So this is how we go ahead and create fillable forms in MS Word which work pretty much like how they work in internet so i hope you like this video and if you do please like this video and click on the subscribe button also for me in case you want to download this file you can go to myelesson.org and download the file from there so until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning